Luxley here, and I'm going to talk about leveling. Now, you have to admit, Blizzard did something very right in Warlords of Draenor by adding in garrisons and mixing it in with a leveling experience. It's a bit unique, it runs very smooth, and it's kind of fun. It's, it's different. So, you guys may or may not already know about the potion that can give you an XP boost of 20% from killing monsters and turning in quests. If you don't know about it, this is a great find for you. If you do know about it, I'm going to explain to you how you could leverage it and get more than 20%. And I'm talking significantly more than 20% bonus XP. Now, there are a lot of useless NPCs hanging around your garrison. We all know that. When I saw them standing there, I just basically discounted all of them as being useless. You know, they don't know your name. They call you commander. They call you dude. Uh, they laugh at your transmog 24-7. They just stand there and cry for no reason. Um, they talk to target dummies for, like, days. And worst of all, they go on super epic fail missions. These missions are ridiculously easy. I mean, you could probably solo them in level one leveling gear. It's that simple. But one vendor in your garrison may turn out to be your new best friend if you're an alcoholic or you just want to get through leveling very quickly. She is a dwarf. Yes, contrary to popular belief, there are female dwarfs. And no, not all of them have beards. Her name is Deidre. That's on the Alliance side. We'll get to the Horde side a bit later. And for a mere, I mean, this is pretty cheap, 100 garrison resources, she will sell you a very special and useful potion called Excess Potion of Accelerated Learning. Here's the skinny on the potion. It gives you 20% additional XP from killing monsters and completing quests for exactly one hour. It persists through death, so if you screw up and five mobs come out of nowhere and kill you, no problem. If you get ganked by like a level 100 Paladin or DK, no problem. And you can buy as much of this as you want. As long as you have the resources to do it, you can buy, you know, 200 of them if you want. And the one thing about it is, is that it's soul bound and it's not available for use until level 91. So for an altaholic like myself, this is a very useful uh, addition to the game. And matter of fact, it's a really, really cool addition to the game. And here are a few ways that I came up with that you can maximize the potion and boost your XP by significantly more than 20%. The first thing is you want to accumulate as much rested time as possible because rested time doubles your XP from killing monsters. Let me explain how this works because I didn't even really know this until I researched it. For every eight hours you are logged off at your garrison, a major city, or an inn, you will accumulate 5% rested time or blue space on your experience bar. For example, if you need 100 XP to reach level 93, you will gain 5% or 50k rested time for every eight hours you are logged off at one of the aforementioned places. That's the way it works. Now, rest of time caps out at 150% or one and a half levels. Number two, you want to focus on bonus quests. I mean, this is pretty elementary and something you probably realized yourself the first time you went through Draenor. They yield five times more XP and can be completed in pretty much the same amount of time as ordinary quests. The average bonus uh, quest is roughly about 70k, which translates into an additional 14k XP gained from the potion. But if you look at your average quest, the average is probably about 14k, which means you're only going to get 2800 additional XP with the uh, potion. So you want to really focus on a bonus quest, and probably the best place to do that is Gorgrond. I know a lot of people don't like it, but the one great thing about that place is, is that all the uh, bonus quests are clustered together. So you can really breeze through them very, very quickly there. Also keep in mind, exploration and quest turn-ins uh, do not consume rested time, and neither does XP acquired in Battlegrounds. Number three, this is really, really cool. 
the potion works with dark moon fair quests that are yellow not blue so for example that means 20 percent additional experience from your two profession quests that you could do and gain five points for your profession whatever it might be tailoring and enchanting you could also do the archaeology quest the cooking quest first aid fishing that's a total of about six quests and the beautiful thing is they're all clustered together and this potion will give you an additional 20 percent xp but i mean if you have the gold you can probably get an additional six to eight different quests uh, for the Dark Moon Fair on your auction house. I mean, these quests drop randomly in dungeons and BGs, and they give you uh, some gold and XP. It's really, really cool. So, so you could easily go in there and have 10 to 12 quests and do them really quick and get the 20% bonus. But you could also get an additional 5% bonus by riding, I believe it's the carousel, because that gives you a 5% uh, bonus boost. And number four, in patch 6.1, which would probably be coming in February, that's the speculation, Blizzard will upgrade the heirloom system and break the gear down into three tiers. So tier two will allow you to gain extra XP up to level 90, and the gear will also obviously scale as you level. Tier 3 will allow you to gain extra XP up to level 100. Now, the means to upgrade to Tier 2 or Tier 3 have not been revealed as of yet. Upgrading your gear to Tier 2 or Tier 3, I mean, there could be a lot of different ways Blizzard decides to go with this. They could have it purchasable with gold, with garrison resources, with honor points, with Apexis crystals, who knows? Any of, the, any of the above, maybe a combination of all the above. So I'm not gonna speculate. A couple of months down the road, we'll know, or two months or six weeks, whatever. My best guess is they're gonna basically introduce either a new currency that would probably drop in raids and or Ashran that can be used to upgrade your heirlooms. So, you guys have a really great opportunity here to increase your leveling experience by more than 20%, in some cases up to 30, 40, 50%, and really just breeze right through there on your alts. Hope you found this uh, interesting. Hope you found it informative. Luxly out.